how to build the ultimate catfish jug. Not only does it feature an adjustable drop line, but it also has a nightlight feature in case you're like me and you don't like leaving your jugs out at night alone so that other people can take them. Uh, this thing will catch catfish, bass, walleye, gar, just about anything that swims. It just depends on what bait and what hook you stick on it. Now the first thing you're going to need is a big noodle. Not all noodles are created the same. Some have big holes and some have little holes. And you're going to need your noodle first because you need to know what size pipe you're going to stick in it. Can't be too big. And it can't be too small. You want a really tight fit. Now I'm using scrap pipe, but if you're going to buy pipe, they come in 10 foot sections at the local hardware store. And if you cut your pipe at 12 inches a piece, you'll get 10 jugs out of one section of pipe. And as far as the noodles, if you can find the 60 inch noodles, you would just need two noodles for that one 10 foot section of pipe to make 10 jugs. I couldn't find 60 inch noodles. I had to go with 48 inches and the only color they had was blue. Therefore, I will be cutting my noodles at nine and a quarter inches. Next, you're going to mark on the pipe where your foam is going to go. And on this design, you want to make sure to leave a half inch pipe exposed on the top and give yourself a couple of inches on the bottom for the uh, screw eye and the, the line to be tied to the pipe. These screw eyes are what we're going to use to adjust the drop line so you can do various depths. I wish I had found stainless steel, but all they had was zinc. Now we're going to mark our holes. On the bottom of the pipe where your line is going to be tied, on one side you're going to have one mark at one and three quarter inches from the bottom. And then you're going to flip the pipe 180 degrees and mark three quarters up from the bottom. The one and three quarter mark is where your screw eye is going to be inserted. And then on the opposite side, the three quarter mark is where your drop line is going to be tied to. Next we're going to drill some holes for the screw eye. Uh, this is what's going to make your drop line adjustable. And then we'll need to also drill a hole for the drop line. Make sure that your bits correspond to the thickness of your line for your drop line and for the thickness of the screw eyes. Now it's time to glue the pipe. For this you're going to use just PVC cement. I'm using electrical. It's just what I had on hand. But you can use regular. I've used that as well in the past. What this is going to do, it's going to melt the pipe a little bit. And you're going to get a really good seal with that foam. That foam is not going to come off. Just remember, don't go past your marks or you're going to have a big old mess on your hands. Now that we've got this sucker glued, you can go ahead and put the screw eye in at that one and three quarter inch hole. And at this point, you can put some super glue on the eye, but I don't really think you need to. But if you want to, super glue. And if you want them to glow in the dark, you're going to need a uh, end cap for the pipe. That's why we want a half inch past the foam. And we're going to glue it to the top like that. But first, we got to drill a hole for the nightstick. The nightstick, the light stick. <laughs> These are glow sticks I get from Walmart from the uh, party section. They're extremely cheap and you get a bunch of them. And uh, what I'm going to do is just drill a hole and stick that in the top and have me a little glow stick. So again, I'm looking for a bit that has the uh, same diameter. You guys know this. Oh, don't tell me I drilled in the table. I'm in so much trouble. All right, once you get your hole in, then we're going to just glue that, glue it on. For my drop line, I'm using 300 pound braided tar line. Now, there are no 300 pound catfish in my lake, but this line will last the whole season and I won't have to change it out. Now, my lake is over 200 foot deep, but I know I'm never going to fish more than 25 feet. Every year, our lake gets a thermocline at 25 feet, so therefore, I'm going to measure out that tar line at 20 foot. Now, you're going to take your desired length of drop line and tie it to that 3 quarter inch hole that we drilled into the pipe. All the knots that I use to connect this rig are clinch knots. Alright, so once you got your line attached to the noodle, then you just take your weight. It can be an egg sinker, it can be any kind of weight. It's just got to fit on the line. This is an old weight from one of my old cast nuts. And just slide that sucker on. Next, you're going to cut yourself a 30 inch piece of uh, line off. Tie a one knot swivel to one end and your desired hook on the other end. I'm using a seven knot circle hook. Now, if you're using tar line, you'll probably have to use some pliers to uh, tighten your knots down. Because <laughs> it does not want to slip. 
And because I got stuck with blue, I'm going to stick some high-vis reflector tape on it. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. It's just that our water's blue and my noodles are blue. To adjust your depth, all you have to do is pinch the line where you want the line to stop, run it through that screw eye, and then fold it over, and that'll lock your line in place. And since I'm fishing such clear water, I want to do a little experiment. So I had done some of these with just a regular 50-pound uh, liter. And then some I just did with the 300 pound tar line just to see which one would get more bites if it made a difference at all. It turns out it doesn't make a difference. Even in the super clear water, during the day even, I caught walleye, I caught bass, <laughs> everything on this tar line. They didn't. It didn't matter if it was tar line or clear. So I'm just going to stick with the tar line because it it doesn't have to be changed out like this one. I, got, uh, I had the wall eye on and he's he's got my line all nicked up so I'm gonna have to change it out. But this, this will last me for many, many, many fishing trips. And then the last thing is the nightstick. I couldn't find a drill bit that was absolutely perfect for the, the nightstick. And it's gonna be, it's, they're gonna vary depending on which ones you get. So uh, what I did is I just took some electrical, electrical tape, shoved it in about halfway and then just whoop, shove it in there and it it stays it's not going anywhere you know it can be it's not going anywhere anyway me and tucker want to say thank you to all the members for supporting the channel really appreciate it and it does help out a lot all right tucker is that a good knot what do you think yeah take a second look at it okay is it good?